In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make up to $900 a day with four very simple side hustles that requires no previous skills and can be done literally by anyone. T. William Young, a 23-year-old college student, has been making $130,000 a year with this side hustle and on his first days, he made no less than $130 on TaskRabbit. I'm gonna leave all the links on the description so you can see the article. TaskRabbit is a platform that connects people who need tasks done with taskers. On average, you can expect to earn from $15 to $50 an hour. So if you work for eight hours, you can earn up to $400 a day. And if you do the 22 working days, you can earn up to $8,800 a month. It's easy to start. You just need to download the app on your phone and make a quick application for it. And usually your account get accepted with in two hours only and here's a few tips for you to stand out as a tasker and maximize your earnings you can create a standout profile post a clear profile picture and use the profile to highlight your experience and work ethic take on a range of tasks don't be limited just by one task if you want to make the most amount of money on this platform you can take all types of tasks you can also learn new skills skilled positions typically pay more than other gigs if possible learn specialized skills like uh, painting, assembling, furniture, handyman services. And also you can raise your rates. When you're just starting out, you likely have to charge a low hour rate to get your first gigs. But once you have completed tasks and have gotten good reviews, you can definitely adjust your pricing up. Now, the next side hustle. I did it myself for some time. When I was living in the UK, I started working with food delivery for two companies, Uber Eats and Deliveroo. At the time I was really struggling with money so I decided to give it a go. I remember that on my very first day of delivering I started working 5 p.m and ended up on 10 p.m. It was a weekend so it was really busy. At the end of the shift I got surprised to know that I have earned a hundred pounds plus tip with literally no experience on finding addresses. After some days I decided to make the side hustle a full time for a while and this was the results I was usually making every single day. But if you live in the US I have made some research and find out you can make way more money a day delivering for DoorDash, Uber Eats, and other companies. This guy here, More Finance, has made a thousand dollars just in a weekend, working 28 hours in total, which comes to a 35.64 dollars per hour. The side hustle will require an investment to start because you need to have one of the three to start: a car, a motorcycle, or a bicycle. Good thing about it is you can get paid every day. Anytime you request a payment on the app, expenses like gas and food you eat can be covered. So the earnings from this side hustle will depend only on you. The more hours you work and the faster you deliver, the more money you will make. Before we head over to the next side hustle, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'll be posting two videos every week just like this one. Now for the next one, you have heard that people are making hundred or even thousand of dollars selling things from home, but I'm not talking about driving shipping this way i'm gonna show you is through making money with thrift store flipping there are people like robert and melissa who have been making literally hundreds of thousands of dollars a year by flipping stuff they have their own website and youtube channel telling their stories but to flip your way to six figures start by selling things you have at your home you can start by listing them on facebook marketplace so you don't have to spend any money right now almost everyone has things that they don't use it or need it but are still in great condition and may hold some resale value. Also, you should check out this app called Freebie Alerts. This app lets you know when someone near you has put out something to grab for free. So you gotta be quick when you get a notification because the items might be taken very quickly. This gives you practice to get familiar with strategies and platforms involved in selling as well. Once you have listed a few of your own items, hopefully you have made a sales. Then move on buying inventory to resell. You also will have the money from those sales to reinvest which is important if you're struggling with cash so where can you buy things to resell traditional thrift stores like uh, goodwill saviors salvation army thrift stores vary widely in the price of their items the type of items they sell and the return policies if you have one close by it's worth checking out the other option is independent thrift stores church stores privately owned stores most 
sellers love going to church source. They tend to sell items very low price, making them a great source of inventory. Another good option is to look for yard sales. They are another popular place to find items, usually cheaper than the thrift stores, and you can negotiate the price with the sellers. And lastly, you can search online. You can find many places to source online. Facebook Marketplace is a good place to source. People who are trying to get rid of their stuff list at low prices like a yard sale. Also, Facebook groups focusing on buying and selling and trading certain items are another source. As for what to buy, I recommend you to focus on mainly furniture since they are easier to find and also they are easier to resell at a higher price. Now you have got the items, it's time to get them listed and sold. There are tons of ways which you can do that such as eBay, Pushmark, Amazon, but my favorite certainly is Facebook Marketplace and Facebook groups. And for the last side hustle, let me show you the story of Jennifer, a self-made millionaire who makes 600,000 per month after launching her own cleaning business at the age of 23 while six months pregnant. She became really popular on TikTok after sharing her story. Also, I have a close example of that. Coming from a family of immigrants, my mama back in the days used to have what was called a cleaning route. She had around three or four houses to clean every day and each one depending on the size, she charged $50 an hour with a fixed minimum of two hours. What she started doing since the minimum she was getting paid was $100 per hour. She started hiring and training people to do the routes for $15 an hour, leaving her with a good profit while focusing on other things. So how can you do the same yourself? To get started with offering services, you can ask your friends, your family, and people you know if they need any help. This can get you some experience under your belt. After some time, you can start scaling your business. If you have too much work to do on your own, it might be time to grow your business by hiring other people to help. You can hire employees or contractors to work for you. Make sure to choose people People who are a good fit for your business and train them well so they can do a good job. After scaling your business, you can diversify your services, add specialized cleaning services such as carpet cleaning, window cleaning, or deep cleaning, offer add-on services or maintenance packages for recurring revenue. By following these steps and remaining committed to providing exceptional services, you can successfully start a solo cleaning business and scale it into a six business company. The great thing about the side hustle is that is very easy to start and don't cost a lot of money at first. So don't be afraid to work hard and take advantage of the opportunities that come to your way. They are waiting for you to take action and make them even bigger. And if you want to learn more ways to make money, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click on the video you see on the screen right now. See ya.